distribution environment, cargo is typically received from government and other commercial vendors. Once shipments are received at a distribution facility, you must dispatch the shipments to their final destinations. AMS TAC allows you to load freight onto outbound trucks, print tally sheets, and establish a confirmed delivery status on all dispatched shipments. Before you dispatch a shipment, ensure that you have properly received it into the AMS TAC database. Additionally, ensure that all supporting consignees are stored in the DODAC table within the system setup. If you do not input the correct consignees into the DODAC table, these shipments will not be available for dispatch. Once you have received the shipments, you are ready to assign specific TCNs to a tally sheet. Go to Dispatch Load. From this screen, you can select a specific consignee, hold the control button to select several consignees, or you can select all. Once you have made your selections, click on OK. A confirmed load screen will appear, asking you to enter the dispatch information. The date will be the exact delivery date. You may change this date if needed. Next, input your truck number. The truck number is typically the serial number of the truck, however, the field can also be used to input any number relating to the truck. Next, input the run number. Run numbers are typically assigned in sequential order for each business day. For example, the first run should be 0001, and the second run should be 0002. Numbering is restarted each business day. Once you are finished, click Save. The Select TCN screen will appear, displaying all available items for dispatch. From this screen, you can select specific TCNs, hold the control button to select several TCNs, or you can select all. Once you've made your selection, click OK. This process will assign the selected TCNs to the specific truck and run number that you entered. You can now generate a tally sheet. A tally sheet is a chain of custody that is accompanied with the shipments as they are being delivered. To print off a tally sheet, go to Dispatch Tally Sheet. A new feature has been added to include line items on a tally sheet. Check this box if you want to associate document numbers, NSNs, and nomenclatures to your tally sheet. Once you've made your selections, click OK. You may select either preview or print for your report, choose your printer type, and also select how many copies when printing. Once you have produced your tally sheet, you will notice that the delivery address will be in the top corner, followed by the truck number, run number, dispatch date, and total number of pieces. A TCN will have all of the necessary shipment information that was received into the system. For instance, it will contain the BL number, transportation priority, type pack, piece number, weight, carrier, tracking number, UN number, and remarks. If you check to include line items on a tally sheet, you will notice that the document numbers, NSNs, and nomenclatures will also be annotated on the tally sheet. This additional information is useful for the recipient to better identify their shipments. The recipient uses the tally sheet to receive and account for their cargo. The recipient must print, sign, and date the bottom portion of a tally sheet. If there was an overage, shortage, or a shipment was damaged, you can include that information on the Exception Listing Report section. Once the shipments have been delivered and signed for, the tally sheet must be closed out. Closing out a tally sheet will indicate when a delivery was made and who signed for it. If you do not have the capability to close out a tally sheet via the BCR, you may have to perform a manual input. To do this, go to Dispatch, Close Out Tally Sheet. From the Close Out Tally Sheet section, you will see all of the open tally sheets. To close out a tally sheet, locate the load date, truck number, run number, and consignee. Input the close date. This will be the Julian date of when the tally sheet was signed. Next, input extra info. You can enter a recipient's phone number or ID number. Finally, input the receiver's name. From this screen, you can unload tally sheets, edit dispatch information, reprint a tally sheet, and even close out all open tally sheets. Once you are finished, select OK. Closing out a tally sheet will give you full accountability of all delivered shipments.